Hello there everyone and welcome back to House Duradon. We've got quite a few battles and stuff to take care of, so let's get straight into it, shall we? So last time I did we did have a battle right here. Turns out though that that was actually illegal and there was a rule in place that uh, disallowed players from attacking each other on the first turn and so uh, uh, House Gardener is actually gonna get replacement troops the uh, admin is gonna do something to actually add troops to his army or something add them back so you get basically you get replenished uh, so that's not good um, but I think we still we still sort of jabbed at him and hopefully I don't know it it will count for something. Um, we got the uh, faction air there. We got the leader with the siege over there, and we got a siege down here. Um, that army is not really a great problem, is it? So we're gonna move here, and we got mistwood right across there. I did recruit some support units. So we got quite a large army and this archer, I think I originally planned it to send with the prince, but I'm actually going to send it over here. And we're going to see about finishing this war because I believe this this uh, Yornwood uh, faction is, well actually Yornwood castle, but that faction is not a very large one. Uh, let's see, where do we have it? Yeah, it is House Yornwood. Um, let's see if we can't... Oh yeah, it is actually here. Let's see if we can find House Yornwood. How did that... There they are. Uh, I want to see military ranking. Oh, they're not even close. Production ranking. With the... Oh uh, yeah, our production is worse. Uh, territorial ranking, so they've got four um, four areas which they control. I actually was hoping that they only had two, but I guess they've got... I think they got one down here, and then maybe they got one down there and one down there, so they got four in that way, but I'm not entirely sure we can walk through this. Um, and then we've got this faction. The turtles. Last time we captured him and we were able to ransom him for quite a bit of coin. And what else is there? There's nothing more really to say, so let's go ahead and do one of these fight fights. These guys are uh, having trouble with the snow. But let's go ahead and uh, kill off Renly. Uh, <laughs> I I like the fact that my my um, faction leader looks so much like Donald Trump. I keep thinking of Donald Trump every time I see that guy. I'm gonna build a huge wall, and I'm gonna make the White Walkers pay for it. Let's see. Wait. Let's see if we can get some kind of good weather. There we go. Um. Uh, Looks fine, actually. Let's just uh, sprint up through the wall, shall we? And get things going. It's gonna be a classy siege. It's gonna be a real classy siege. Forward, men! Ours is the fury. Uh, now I'm still playing this on my uh, the replacement graphics card I have, and I'm having some problems with it. It's not working uh, super well, but I mean it's not like it's a really super old graphics card. But I was doing. 
I was trying to do Bella Seville yesterday and it didn't work out that well. I am not sure. I think it's due to how the fan is set up for this graphics card and it sort of overheats and that's the main problem uh, that I'm facing with it. With this one replacement one the um, it's quite old and even though I, I imagine that uh, Medieval 2 Total War is not a very taxing game. Are they gonna charge out? Anyways, they've opened the gate to uh, and they've stopped, gonna stop us from actually uh, be able to get our... Uh, no, the, now they changed it around. Looks like they're actually retreating off the wall now. And we got that small uh, general's unit coming around. It's probably going to get through the gate. And we're going to have to get a bog down fight right here. Where we slowly have to cut them up. Cut them down. Uh, cut them up, cut them down. Cut them all around. You know the story. Let's go ahead and speed this up a bit. You know, now when I actually look on the map, it's not going through the... Ah, he's going to go around. Is he going to attack Donald Trump? You can't. But luckily for me, Donald Trump will see this coming. And we will... Uh, Form some nice spear walls. Donald Trump likes his walls. He likes classy walls. He likes all kinds of walls. Let's see if we can't stop at least one of these guys from getting into the uh, center. And then also capture this so we can get, get our guys inside. Form spear wall. Oh, it might be too late. Donald Trump come around here to... Uh, come on, form the spear wall. Oh, they lower them just in time, sort of. Not at all, actually. Donald Trump's going to come in and strike one side. And these pikemen's going to come from the other. Right, uh, are we... Yes, we are fighting them here, a bit. And we have captured it. Right, Donald Trump, strike! Let's see if we can get a good charge here in the back. Nope. But that doesn't really matter because this unit's getting... Cut to pieces. Gate has his hours, and we captured that unit right there and pushed it up against the wall. Some heavy fighting right there. Let's go back to Trump. Let's see how he's doing. He's doing well. Don't think he has, needs to be in among all the pikes. Way! I do believe, even though the sound there, I'm not entirely sure if that's uh, like a thing with the mod, like th that sound is sort of muted, because nothing else is really like that. Which I think is strange. Anyways, let's go ahead and send the guys forwards. And see about getting the uh, final fight here for the courtyard underway. I like the fact that we captured that guy. Hopefully we'll be able to maybe sell him back to them. Gaining a bit of more coin because we need coin. Because I'm out of coin. Coin. Coin, coin, coin. 
We're gonna put the pikemen first because of the, all the cavalry that's in there. And then we're gonna have the uh, the sergeants stationed here. And the pikemen will take uh, take on the main fight and we'll have Trump back here. King Trump, I should say. King Trump of the Stormlands. Forwards, men! It looks like it's in our favor right now. Uh, so I do think... Usually it's not a good sign for the enemy that they have to retreat into the center. But you never know. Right. Spear them all! Forwards! March! Let's see if we, if we can get them to form a proper spear wall this time. Oh, here they come. Ah, oh, they're forming into the wall right now. Form the spear wall! Hold! Form spear wall! So we're forced. The enemy force into air. Well, they move themselves, but for roleplay purposes, uh, we have forced them in air. And the victory is almost certain, I do believe. Or at least against the cavalry. If necessary, I can just throw in the sergeants to... Uh, yeah, you can see how their... The percentage on their side is rising a lot more than on my side. So at this point I think about for every one of my 1% rise in kills on my side uh, there's a 10% on their side. So that's a good ratio. And we haven't actually lost that many uh, pikemen. Good, good, good. Are they getting tired? They're a bit... Uh, this unit's a bit winded, but that's about it. Both of them are winded. 40%. I think it would probably have gone a lot easier to kill off the cavalry if that unit of sergeants hadn't joined in. I think that's the one that, that's actually... Uh, killing my men rather than the cavalry. I think the cavalry is having having a real hard time um, getting into the pike wall. They're actually pu pushing my pike wall back since we started roughly about here. They pushed them about a unit's worth back. So the front rank of my unit is now where the back of the unit was earlier. But comparatively, I've lost maybe 10% of my force, and they have lost, uh, uh, what would it be, Some th almost 40% in, in just this fight right here, in this fight right here. Overall, you can clearly read that it's, I've lost 21 and they've lost 55. Looks like we've dealt with all the sergeants, and it's just a cavalry left. Which we're slowly cutting to pieces. Units march. Units march. Maybe it's time to send in the sergeants now to sort of sweep through and end this. The battle is very much in 
Donald Trump has had enough. Push the enemy aside. Yeah, that went fast. Slowly just pushing these guys away. Charge in! Boom! I wonder who that was. Maybe was that the uh, prince or king? Or, yeah, it was prince, right? Yeah, Renly, prince of the narrow sea, has fallen. All will bow before the might of the storm land and Donald Trump, the first of his name. Protector and king of the storm lands. And soon he will also hold the land of... Um, whatever this is. I believe it's the... I think it was the Tarth that lives out here. Actually. But I don't think you'll put that in your title, the fact that you own um, that island. Another one falls. This, yeah, Brian Tarth has fallen. Two loyal bodyguards continue to fight. Which actually might cause a bit of trouble for us. This unit... Yeah, I, I should have uh, told it to engage these guys earlier. Come on, strike at them! Destroy them! It doesn't actually matter that much if... Uh, it actually might be better if the time runs out rather than we fighting them. I'll save some men and we'll win still. Or we'll still win. I should say, we will win still. And I'll save my men. Surrender now! You may not think that Donald Trump likes loser, losers. Well, actually he doesn't. So, uh, most likely you will be executed upon... I shouldn't have said that. Um, envelop them. We cannot possibly keep these people alive. We'll win within three, two, one, boom, end battle. I lost 240 men and I won the castle. We also killed Simon Toth and Renly, Prince of the Narrow Sea. And we also captured someone, which I'm not entirely sure who that was. Let's go ahead and see. Simon Toth. He's quite valuable. Ransom him. No. House Estermont refused. And so we had to slay the bastard. Um, influx of nobility is what I'm going to choose. And now we need to get Donald Trump off this stinking island. But first, he's gonna make one important decision, and that is to build... Actually, should I build a port? I cannot actually build a port here. I want more ports, of course, because that means trade, and trade means money, and money means soldiers, and soldiers mean that I will win over the Gardner family. I guess we all have to s leave some troops to s a station there. So we'll leave these two Stormland pikemen. Actually, I might not even have needed to put them there because the order is pretty good. But uh, in case that changes. And Trump is back in his castle. 
can move some troops together. Then Trump will move his army out to help his son to conquer the rest of the Eastermont territory. Uh, so we've got that done. Let's go ahead and do the siege now against House Jornwood. Um, Cletus <laughs> is uh, in command of this castle and I'm pretty sure we will be able to, within situation marks, liberate it. I am but a young girl, unschooled in the arts of war, but then well, something. I didn't even have time to read who it was. Well, you can pause and you can take a look. See? Right. We've actually got some archers this time around. What we're going to do is we're going to have uh, the sergeants pick up the ladders. We're going to have the pikemen use the ram. And then we're going to go ahead and charge the walls. And we'll have the archers there. The main thing, I think, is to get the gate open so I can move in my cavalry and win that way. Charge the walls! We got a bit of uh, some different houses represented on the men's shields here. Uh, a man being hanged. Not entirely sure what that is. Yellow, a black lion on yellow background sleeping. And that, that other one looks like some sort of uh, 80s uh, rock band cover. Uh, that other weird one. Let's see how uh, well House Yornwood goes against us. We got the the foot, which is standing on a snake. We got the raven, and we got the gate. Well, I guess House Yorn would be, be sort of gatekeepers to Dorn. Uh, because if I, which I most likely will, will win the war against House Yorn, I will be able to access uh, the Dornish lands. And uh, down in Dorn, we have Weiss Coffin playing as. House Martel. Let's actually get onto the wall or get onto here so we can get our guys through and uh, come on, move without having them burned like you see right there. Ah, that did fail. Then we shall move the pikemen through and deal with this bodyguard and as we do that we'll actually take the archers and move them through as well and they uh, will be the ones capturing this area I do believe the pikemen will do pretty well against the Dornish riders They outnumber them quite a bit, and with the long pikes, they should be able to do short work of these horsemen. And we got an opening here for the archers to get through. But I don't think otherwise, it looks as though the sergeants, distinct possibility, it's quite balanced on the wall, so... We won't wi win by just charging straight through there. Um, but at least we got their archers. Or quite a few of them. 
Boneway Archers. Let's see if we can't get some shots into the side there. Help them out. Killing this uh, general. We've actually lost quite a few uh, pikemen here. Or have we actually? Yeah, some of them. But my main concern is the fact that we haven't killed that many Boneway bodyguards here. We've killed six of them. It's taking too long and we need to... Uh... Nice, there we go. Uh, now we, we killed him, let's get up here so our cavalry can move up without getting burned. Attack! Hard fighting on the walls. Attack! Come on, get up there. I'll need you up there right now, you morons. We need to capture those gate, that gatehouse, you idiots. Right, if you go through there then, if you attack them and then turn back, or go over to the other side. Actually, if you go, if you're in there now, you can go for the archers. I do really have to pass through here then just get up there then get up there right now they're engaged get over to the other side we're sort of winning there now but we're not winning here so we need to get through right the horsemen are forced away I don't think they... Did we cap it? Still has Yornwood though. Why is it not mine? These guys are broken as well. Good. Then we can move these guys through. These guys are holding well. Let's get the bowmen over here to fire upon the guys on the wall. Pikemen dealing with some of the guys retreating here. Right, the rest of them are retreating. They're broken. Is the gate... The gate's not really ours yet, I think. We'll check by moving these two knights through. Charge the enemy! Get him! Hound the enemy, slay every last one of them. Let's see. Looks like it's safe for our commander to move through. But might as well leave him outside. Let's have these guys go and block. Uh, there, yeah, the enemy there was actually uh, killed off. And that means there's only a slight portion of troops left. And they're right there. Oh, charge them down. Go on then, charge.
Let's slay them. Hurry, men! Forwards! There we go. Victory was achieved. Let's not stay around to lose more men. Cletus! Did we actually kill Cletus? Yeah, oh yeah, we shot him with arrows. Bye bye, Cletus. Queen Nymeria upon defeating King Ulric Yornwood. And. Vilne falls. Influx of nobility. And then we captured the House of Vilne. Northern European, apparently. You will come and join over there. Um, is there anything? Yes, now I remember. We need a diplomat. Because I want to send him up here to make a trade agreement with whoever controls the area up here. I think this is actually historically within the time period before the dragons, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, uh, like, what, uh, uh, dragons. Dragon's End, is it called that? Or no? Anyways, that hasn't been built yet, I don't think. Right, I want I want some towers along here, and we're gonna need some towers along here as well to guard against our enemies. I don't think we will have that much problem going south. Ah, oh, we can move through here. And yeah, that's that looks that looks like it's that we managed to gain uh, gain yeah we can see how the enemies they've got two more well they've got uh, house peak house duradon house tarbeck house high tower and house bracken that are going against them high tower i believe is I guess somewhere down here. Bracken, I'm not entirely sure. House Tarbeck, I'm not sure either. But I know about House Peak. Let's see how we do comparatively with House Gardener right now. Overall faction ranking, we actually started off above them, but we dropped pretty quickly, and I think that's because I spent all my money and uh, that I start with and we don't actually make that much money uh, custom selection uh, military ranking we rank above them but I did I did lose men and we did disband some troops so that's probably gonna change for next round production ranking they're just going through the roof and I'm almost at the bottom territorial ranking they have 19 uh, areas. I'm not entirely sure if they counted in my areas right now, but I guess that's 13. Uh, but I actually control 15, so that should be a bit higher. Should be closer to this line. So I'm closing in on them in the amounts of region I hold. And next time will be able to lay siege to Mistwood or maybe defeat an army that they drag through. Um, we can uh, put the king as well. We can actually use the navy to land him somewhere maybe. But I really would like a spy. And for a spy I need a tavern, I think. So we'll have to build a tavern at some point as well. Somewhere. Do I have anywhere pretty close by where I can build a tavern? We could build a tavern somewhere around here, could we not? We do have a bit of money. Or should I build something up at the front? There's nothing really that like improve defenses or anything. I can improve the 
the men here, but the riders. I don't think he will attack until he's got catapults, and that will take a while, so I don't think we have to focus that much on this area. Let's go ahead and build a tavern somewhere so we can start recruiting spies. Let's just build it right there. And uh, there we have it. That's my turn. Let's go ahead and end it. I actually wanted to... You know, when I think about it, I actually wanted to see my my financial... How my uh, finances were, but... Um, I guess we'll have to check that next round. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.